What's up guys, Coach Jeremy here. I know I said that I was gonna give these toasters away, but I started thinking it could be a really cool video if I set them all up in the top shelf of the net and then try to snipe them. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I got the pucks all lined up right here. I got the slow-mo camera set up. I think it's gonna look really awesome. So get ready to snipe some toasters. All right, first snipe, I'm gonna go for the Jonathan Taves toaster top right. Here we go, hold on a second. You think that I'm so thirsty for views that I would resort to destroying toasters just for the likes? I would never do that. But I would destroy this toaster. Fear not, the toasters are safe. And at the end of the video, I will be announcing who won. I'll get in contact on Instagram and I will be shipping these out to the rightful owners. Uh, this toaster though, that toaster's not safe. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see if you're one of the lucky winners. In the meantime, let's go tee this one up in the net. And I know there's gonna be some toaster rights activists out there saying, don't destroy the toaster, it's perfectly good. Don't worry, I got it at the Salvation Army. It was only $4, and the Salvation Army is a charitable organization, so that money went to charity. So it's not all in vain. Let's set it up. I'm gonna go with a pretty simple setup, just in the top right target. And the first thing I'm gonna do, take it easy, I'm gonna try to sauce one right into there, see if I can toast my biscuits. Also, this toaster is all stainless steel, so it should take a bit of a beating. We're gonna take it easy at start, and then start ripping them. Let's try to sauce some biscuits in there. All right, first challenge, deliver the biscuit. Whoopsie. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. It just fits in there. I'll be actually pretty impressed if I can make this shot. It's gonna have to be a perfect sauce, but I'm up for the challenge. Look at this thing, hit it with a little bit of sauce, got a dent there, busted up right there. This is not gonna handle hard shots, that's for sure. I think my angle's off because I'm saucing up, so I'm gonna put it on the lower corner, try to sauce in, just a little chip sauce. I think I can do that one. Yes! That's it, baby! Nailed it, took me a few tries. Let's go take a look, see what the toaster looks like. And uh, I'm curious if it still works. Matter of fact, you guys ever wondered what happens when you toast a puck? I haven't, but now I did. Let's find out. Toaster report. Well, she's a little busted up. There's the biscuit. Got some Slovakian biscuits right there. I think it'd probably still work. I'm gonna plug it in and see. So let's crank it up to high. And it's on, it's working. That is a terrible smell. I don't know if you can see, but there's some smoke coming from there. Well, the biscuits in the toaster, might as well give you guys a few tips on how to improve your saucer pass. You're gonna get that lift on the puck, but with a really quick movement of that top hand to quickly open up the blade. When you do that, you're also gonna push just a little bit with that bottom hand and then kind of pull just a little bit in. So it's gonna be like a quick motion like that. So the top hand moves really fast with that. Oh! The blade should slightly cup the puck. There's different variations. You can start way back here if you want. When it's more forward in the stance, there's a slight cup, and that quick movement of that top hand opens the blade, and that gets the puck just a little bit to stick on the blade, and that's when you can really send that puck. I'll chip a few past the camera to show you guys. Close, and then open the blade. Again, just a quick little twitch of that hand is gonna get the puck up on the blade, and then you push with the bottom hand, that's gonna send it. The toaster's really smoking now. I think the biscuits might be ready, boys. Let's chip one over the toaster. So for a quick little chip pass, you can pull the puck back, keep the blade open, come down like that and chip it over. So I'm gonna pull it back and chip it over. That's not right, I better pop this thing. All right, who wants biscuits? Oh. <laughs> the, the puck is literally smoking. Definitely not safe to eat. That's probably something a goalie would do. Guys, don't eat hockey pucks. All right, let's snipe this toaster. This thing's taking a few hard blows. I'm gonna switch it up. Go oh, look at this. Busted the lever. I don't think we can toast pucks anymore, boys. All right, let's try to knock that front knob off. No point in busting up a toaster just for no good reason. Might as well give you guys a quick little tip on shooting. Your top arm and your bottom arm both give you power in the shot. Your top arm comes from pulling back, while your bottom arm comes from driving. 
That motion together with rhythm and explosive power, that is gonna give you a lot of power. A lot of beginner players mostly use their bottom arm, they don't use their top hand very much. So by adding that extra space, you can pull and push at the same time really quickly, you're gonna get a lot more power. And you'll see that when I'm smashing this poster up. I'm gonna start you with a low angle, but when I cut to the different angle, watch my bottom arm and see how I really drive it towards the target. Oh baby! First shot, direct hit, let's go take a look. I told you I was gonna smash that knob off. Didn't think I'd do it on my first try, but here we go. Let's hit this with a few more cannons. Done. There we go. One more snipe to knock that piece down. Let's see what we can recognize. That's obviously the top where the pucks go. Uh, oh, that's that's another piece of the top, I guess. And the back side. This right here is the front. I'm gonna send this to the toaster repair guy. See if he can fix it up for me. And then here we got. We got a bird's nest of a toaster left right there. Wow, it is done. So there you have it, one toaster completely annihilated and you got some accuracy and power tips. Make sure you practice those, but not on your toaster. Use your neighbor's toaster, be smart guys. But that's not the end of the video. Remember, I'm giving away Jonathan Taves, Wayne Gretzky, and Connor McDavid. What other channel is gonna give away, what, well, maybe not them, but toasters that will toast their faces on toast. So that's pretty cool too. Let's do the giveaway. All right, let's hop on YouTube and pick some winners. First winner is Rohit Plays. He says, I followed you, Jonathan Taves slash Jonathan Toast. Would be my favorite. Well, congratulations, he's yours. The next big winner is Tyler Bialecki. He says, I would have any toaster, and my Instagram is at tyler.bialecki. Well, congratulations, you said you would have any toaster, so this one is yours. Tyler, just send me your address, and I'll have this shipped right out to you. And the big winner for the Connor McDavid Toaster of Tomorrow is Ben Buckley. He said, I followed. Can I please have the McDavid Toaster? Yes, you can. It's yours. I'll message you on Instagram and we'll have this shipped out. And the last toaster, the greatest toaster of all, number 99, the Wayne Gretzky Toaster. This one is going to Sports Bricks. He said, I followed you on Instagram. Gretzky is my dad's favorite player and the toaster would be a great Christmas gift for him. So there you go. Don't tell your dad you're getting the Gretzky Toaster. I'll ship it out soon. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit that subscribe button because I make new hockey videos every single week. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.